This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Good morning, you guys. Sorry about this. This is getting major jump scare, but <laughs> we're going to the dentist today. I'm going to get veneers. Low key, I'm really scared. Someone had commented in my previous video that I should be looking at the veneer fails on TikTok just to know what could possibly happen in case I do get botched in. For the most part, I don't think everything was like terrible. I saw a lot of like bacteria getting trapped under veneers and having to get them redone. I even kind of like some of the fails that I saw. So let me get these retainers off and I will show you a before of what my teeth look like. Any comment that is mean or is just judging I will shamelessly delete because we absolutely do not need that in the comment section. But here's my before. I feel like it's hard to tell, but I have a lot of chiffing. Every single tooth is broken. This one in specific, you see how it slants? When I was in uni, I was just sitting on my bed. I don't know if I was eating something or just talking to Arthur, but I just remember a piece of my tooth just literally fell off. It fell off and it into my mouth. And so I spit it out and I literally looked at Arthur and I was like, my tooth broke, my tooth broke out of nowhere. And that's just an example of how weak my teeth are. And then I feel like the top are the worst and the ones that I'm most self-conscious about because everyone sees it. Anytime I'm talking to someone, I feel like their eyes immediately go straight to my teeth. And these are here. They're just very small, they're chipped. Even getting this tooth gem was such a big step for me because I didn't want anyone in my mouth if it weren't my dentist. But I feel like the front camera totally sucks, so I'll use my actual like Canon camera to give you, you know, better quality of this. Let me go shower now though. One of the things that is scaring me though is that I think during the procedure, I'm gonna be awake. I was hoping they would just put me to sleep and I would wake up with a brand new set of teeth, but no, they're gonna be shaving my teeth while I'm awake. Oh, and I also saw some TikTok saying that porcelain veneers, they don't shave your teeth a lot. They only shave 0.5 to one millimeter, which is like the thickness of a single contact lens. The only thing is that they do that to every single tooth and the straighter your teeth are, the less shaving you require. So thank God for Smile Direct Club. So I'm just gonna confirm all these facts that I learned on TikTok with my dentist because honestly y'all, if we do have to shave my teeth to shark nubs, this video won't exist. So if you're watching this right now, that means they didn't totally shave my teeth. I don't know about you y'all, but my lips all get super chapped when I'm at the dentist and I always feel too embarrassed to ask them to give me some sort of lip balm. So I'm gonna bring this with me. We are all set, let's head out. And I'm just kidding. I forgot about some perfume because I know I'm gonna have the nervous sweats. So we're gonna spray a shit ton of this. Now, let's go. Y'all, I came to hide in the restroom. I have the nervous poops, but they're letting me talk and console with the doctor before I get anything done. So give me a second. So honestly, you you have like rounded teeth and uh -huh. they're kind of arched down backwards into uh -huh. the inside of your mouth. What would be nice is to point them towards your chin kind of, right? So okay. we're gonna make this tip come out just a slight bit uh -huh. and it's gonna happen all over. Uh, we're gonna make that rounded look and I do think we should extend your teeth length just by a little bit. Okay. In between your teeth, right? Uh -huh. Because I need that veneer to wrap into the middle. Okay. That way it's covered all the way through to the back, pretty much. Actually, I did have one more question. Bacteria being trapped under a veneer? On the temporary? Uh-huh. That does sometimes happen, yeah. Um, but with the veneer cementation, uh -huh. that is a whole ordeal itself. Mm -hmm. and that takes a lot of time, but we actually kill off all the bacteria. We do all the stuff to basically <laughs> Uh, get rid of all the bacteria and seal it. Okay? Got it. And once okay. that's sealed, it's like a permanent seal. So like nothing could even nothing enter. Nothing is supposed to enter. Got nothing it. is supposed to enter. The only thing that could possibly happen is if you keep knocking it, mm. it can start separating a little bit. Mm -hmm. Other thing that can happen is where the veneer meets your tooth, if this area starts to get a cavity, mm -hmm. then things can get underneath. Got okay? it. But okay. just as long as you keep all the it's called a margin, wherever uh -huh. the veneer touches the tooth, you keep all of your tooth safe, mm -hmm. then it should, it should lose be fine. Okay. It was time to choose my tooth shape now, and for the most part, 
all of them look the same to me really they honestly look the same to me besides youthful style that one obviously looks a lot more round and it was the one that i was attracted to yeah this one i love for sure yeah i think this one's gonna be the best for you yeah mm -hmm. got rounded arches and all that yeah yeah for sure i like that one okay mm -hmm. this is the super white we call this hollywood white i think that might be too white too white yeah yeah and then this is a normal from the whitest to the darkest here Kind of hard to tell. What do people normally get? Which one do I they mean, normally get? If you're in Hollywood, you normally do the all white because since you're doing it anyway. Is it weird that I like this one? Like, no, it's not even. It, you're like, young, it does have yellowy, but it you're looks. You're young, so that's normal. I'm not gonna lie, they kind of all look the same to me. No, go with the white whitest. No! That's why, that's why, why, smile. why would I go for all I white? Doesn't that look more fake? Okay, I can obviously tell that one's really yellow. Oh no, sorry, don't go with these. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. Go with the whitest natural one. Okay. One one. Yeah, I was kind of torn between. I don't think I like this. Like yeah. that. That looks like. No, no, no. Pretty no, yellow. <laughs> Someone had also commented that with veneers, it could be really opaque, and so it's better for them to look translucent so that they look more natural. There's different materials. Uh huh. The one you can make the thinnest. Uh huh. Looks the worst. Mm. Right? It looks opaque. Right, there's okay. no translucency, but it uh -huh. is the strongest. It's mm -hmm. um, the one I like to use called mm -hmm. EMAX. It's the combination of pretty and strong. Got it. The last one is glass. That one looks glass. that's like a professional ceramic uh -huh. who will hand paint the ceramic. Mm -hmm. That looks amazing. Mm -hmm. That's the veneers you see on like Hollywood style, mm -hmm. Post Malone veneers, all yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. But each veneer there is like four thousand dollars. Oh right? shoot! Okay, uh, it's crazy, and it's super weak. So mm -hmm. if you bite into anything, it will break. Got it. So you're thinking this one? Yes. Okay. That's what I recommend okay, with that. to most people mm -hmm. because it's natural white. It'll pop out, but it won't look fake. This is Danielle from the future, but not the far, far future. I still have my temporary veneers. I'm getting my finals tomorrow. But I'm gonna take the time now to talk about today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. And all thanks to them, I have my own professional website. It's twinnell.com. This is where I sell a lot of my mystery bundles, my printed clothing, and my dead stock inventory. So if you've also been looking to create a professional website to sell tangible items, digital items, or even a service, Squarespace makes it super easy because they offer a ton of tools. The first one is e-commerce template. So they have a whole library full of different website layouts to choose from. And all you gotta do is choose the one that best fits your website needs, and then you customize the color and the text. The second tool they offer is inventory management. So if you're a vintage reseller like me and you have clothes literally everywhere, Squarespace will help you keep organized and even send you notifications when something is low in stock or completely out of stock. The last one I wanna to touch on is that they offer a built-in mobile website. So all those templates templates that I showed off earlier all have their own unique mobile experience. So this just means that your website is going to be accessible on a phone, a tablet, and even a desktop. There's a free trial waiting for you at squarespace.com, but when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash twinnell to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using my code twinnell. Huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to these veneers. Going into this procedure, I was scared of two things, shaving my teeth and the pain that would come from it. Little did I know that was gonna be the least of my worries. Oh, also y'all, I'm not scared of needles. I grew up with hypothyroidism and so I used to get my blood withdrawn pretty often. So needles, not afraid of them. Dr. Park is also super light-handed and gentle. So at some points, it was kind of hard to tell if I even had tools in my mouth. The moment I felt the numbing kick in, my anxiety was at an all-time low. Just as someone who's super anxious, needs control, and then getting it totally stripped from you, I felt like I was gonna have a panic attack and I had to tell myself, Danielle, control your breathing. And it's also not my first time getting dental work done by Dr. Park, so I trusted him. So I had nothing to worry about, but it's just literally so funny looking back at these clips and my breathing is wild. So again, I felt absolutely no pain. What I did feel was 
about light to medium pressure, but can we talk about one thing? Because for the most part, I had my eyes closed, but it is so awkward to have your eyes open while you have the doctor and the dental assistant in your mouth. And I was just like, oh my gosh, what if I make eye contact with one of them? So for the most part, I kept my eyes closed the entire time. Putting up a trigger warning right now because in the next clip, I'm gonna have a closer shot of them shaving my tooth. But the trigger warning is more for the sound because it's very loud and at times can be a little traumatizing. You're good? I can't feel it. Okay? Okay. Alright. You're gonna take a break? Yeah, this looks so scary. Which one? The lips? All of it. It's so different. Well, we're taking a little break right now. So I went to the restroom. I keep slobbering. Guys, I can barely talk. I'm so numb. Like touching my face feels so weird. <laughs> Straight out of a nightmare. Uh uh. So I'm just gonna wait for the doctor to come back. You know what? Forget the drill being the scariest tool. This block that's being put into my mouth, by far the scariest tool in the dentist office. I swear to God, I thought I was gonna get lockjaw. I also felt kind of bad because the dental assistant kept telling me to open wide, but when you have both top and bottom of your mouth numb, it's kind of hard to tell how open your mouth really is. So I understand why we had to use a block, but now we're making my temporary veneers. Bye, 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 bye. Thank you. This is gonna set in. Oh, okay. Bite all the way, okay? That's how I'm gonna make your temporary. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. oh. the fit is what uh, it makes it. Uh, yeah. Did not all the way? Alright, let's see. So, this is how I'm walking out of the dentist. I honestly do not like the way that they look right now, but my dentist assured me that these are temporary, so they're not the actual veneers. And if you look really up close, why does it look like I have plaque? It looks kind of gross. It kind of sucks because I literally have a concert tomorrow and I do not feel cute at all. And I have a whatnot stream this week too. So I'm probably just gonna talk with my mouth closed like this because I'm not feeling the most confident right now. And I was expecting better temporary teeth just because on TikTok, all the temporary teeth I saw, they look so good and so close to what the final veneer look was gonna be. So I don't know, I'm slightly disappointed. I'm home now and I can't stop looking at my teeth. They look not great. Look at that. And I keep telling myself, they're just temporary. This isn't what they're supposed to look like. But, ooh. Low-key, I'm liking the way my natural, original teeth look like better. I kind of feel like with the shape he gave me, I'm giving Miley Cyrus. But, ooh. I don't know. I have to wait nine days now to see the final look. Thirty minutes have passed now, and I think the plaque in my teeth, I think that's some sort of adhesive or like, I don't know. It's going away though. It's dissolving with my saliva. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping in like a couple hours, it'll just be like smooth teeth because I could feel it coming through. Well, this is my meal of the day. You know what sucks is having to eat soft foods, but what sucks even more is when it doesn't even taste good and it was so expensive, but it'll do. I'm not creative whatsoever when it comes to cooking, so having another restriction like only eating soft foods, my diet was very limited, and so I ate a lot of soup, a lot of different kinds of soups, anything that I can chew with my back molars, and my dentist also said that it was okay to drink, so two out of the nine days, I did drink quite a bit. So if you have any other soft food recommendations, let me know down below. Right, y'all, I just woke up. It's the next day after getting my temporary veneers, so I find good lighting. And I wanna say, I think I'm getting used to them. They, 
Okay, you know how I told you that I thought there was like residue that would dissolve with my saliva? That did not go away, but it does feel a lot smoother. And I'm not sure whether that's from brushing my teeth. They told me I couldn't floss, but I could gently brush my teeth and man did my mouth feel so disgusting this morning. But I wanna say that maybe they look a little bit better. The bottom, <laughs> not that spit bubble. <laughs> the bottom still looks weird to me. And I think it is just, how like different areas of the teeth are opaque where others are like translucent so it makes it look really dirty and uneven i just had to remind myself that to begin with my bottom teeth weren't that straight so i can't expect it to be straight when i get veneers right like this was my trouble spot right here and that's what's still not as straight well, it looks straighter here than when I'm like this. But anyways, I'm feeling pretty hopeful. We'll check up tomorrow. My mouth gets really dirty feeling right away. So this is my second time brushing my teeth. I brushed them as soon as I woke up. A few hours have gone by. And so I have to be very gentle and careful when brushing them, but I can't flaw. So I'm thinking maybe that's why they feel gross. I'm not entirely sure, but I also started getting these like boils and bumps inside of my mouth so let me show you because i don't know if this is normal and some of them some of them have popped but they're still there look at that it's all along here so i don't know whether it's because it was so much trauma inside of my mouth or whether i'm allergic to something but it's most of here on the bottom i also have it on the top right over here you see all the bumps Mm, those close-ups do not make me feel good about my teeth, but I'm getting a little self-conscious because I have a whatnot stream today And most of the time I'm like smiling and laughing and I'm either gonna be like this the whole entire stream or I'm gonna have to find a mask I did recently buy a box of masks, but they're Christmas themed and they don't have the cutest print But I'll check in with you guys tomorrow Y'all look at my hand. I wash my hair in warm water, but also look I just floss and I think some of my temporary veneer came off. Thank goodness, I'm getting my finals today, but Jesus, that scared me. This is the last video I'm going to film before I get my final veneers. Last look at them, temps are leaving. I was so ready to get these temps off and I just kept telling myself, the finals have to be better than the temps, right? They can't possibly be worse. And then we got to the worst part, which was the numbing. And then I didn't record it because you already know what that entailed, but then Dr. Park came in and hit me with some bad news. Oh my God, y'all. My lip is so sore. Also, I'm in the bathroom. I just finished peeing, but they just know my bottom half. We finished the top. I love it. I think it's so damn cute, but look at the size of my lips. The bad news is my dentist didn't like the bottom teeth that the lab created. So he rejected them. So I need to come back in two weeks to do the bottom. Am I bleeding? Oh no, what the hell? I am bleeding. I had no idea where that's coming from, but at one point, my dentist was really rough. I thought he was gonna break all my goddamn teeth, but I love them. Time to do the bottom half now. Uh, I made it home and my mouth and my lips are so swollen and numb and they told me not to talk or eat so I'm gonna catch up with you guys once all the swelling goes down and then I'll show you the final result. It's the day after getting my bottom veneers and I think I stained them. I had a market yesterday so I didn't even eat much. I had alcohol just one drink i had some lumpia like a spoonful of white rice and then around two o'clock i had chicken nuggets and french fries and i don't think any of that would turn my teeth bluish green what the heck is that and it's also on this side too behind this tooth what the heck is happening let me show you in better lighting there you go Look at that, what is happening? I tried scratching it off, but nothing really happens. At least this one isn't too noticeable because you really have to look into my mouth. But sometimes when I talk, I feel like I'm very expressive. And so you can see it. 
Oh, actually you can't see that when I'm pretty far away. So I'm gonna do some Googling right now to see if it's even possible to stain your temporaries and if there's anything I can do to take it out because I'm gonna be filming in a studio in just a couple of days and I don't want this to worsen. I just finished washing my hair and then I looked in the mirror after I brushed my teeth they're getting worse. Keep in mind, this is the third day of having my temporary veneers. And I know I keep saying this, but in three days, I'm gonna film at an actual studio. I don't know if they're gonna have like professional cameras or we're just all filming on our iPhones, but look at my teeth. The staining has gotten worse. It's moving onto this tooth now. And then look at this tooth. <gasps> They look like they're rotting. They literally look like they're decaying. Google said that temporary veneers aren't always totally sealed and so they can have a little bit of leakage. And so the discoloration can be due to my saliva, blood, bacteria. And so I was like, damn, I need to go to my dentist's office ASAP. They're closed today. But to be honest, y'all, I don't know if I can go through getting temporary veneers again or getting these replaced. It's just such an invasive procedure. And yes, they numb you so you don't feel a thing, but it's a very long procedure. And the day afterwards, my whole mouth is still numb and it just, it's, I feel the pain afterwards. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna go to my dentist, just make sure that my teeth, my actual teeth aren't impacted underneath and it's just the discoloration on top. I think I'm just gonna tough it out. <sighs> God. That means that probably by the end of week two, all of my teeth are gonna, literally all of them are gonna be this bluish gray color. Oh, God damn it. At least when I'm talking, you don't really see my bottom teeth. You're really only seeing the top teeth. So I think it should be okay. Google also said that like hydrogen peroxide would get rid of it. So you know what? Why don't we just do it? Ugh, I'm chickening out. I'm gonna go see my dentist tomorrow. If he says that I can just gargle this, then we'll do it, see if it makes a difference. It's day four and it's getting worse. It's threading. I was on the phone with my dentist today. My actual doctor is out of town and will be for the next two weeks. So I'm stuck with this. I'm a very easygoing person. So I'm okay with it, knowing that anytime I talk, you don't really see it. Well, maybe a little bit, but I could hide it. I'm okay with it. But just know it is a very high possibility that if you get temporary veneers and you have them for a long period of time and they're exposed to saliva, food, they're gonna change color. So now I just gotta wait these next two weeks until the finals come in. Time for the final reveal and y'all, I love them. I love my new smile. Look at this. Okay, so I do wanna recap everything. Let's talk pain, recovery, Price. My camera lightens and brightens everything up, so it's not even this bright in my room right now. It's actually pretty gloomy in here, and it's making my teeth look a little too white. I feel like in person, it looks pretty natural. There's like a little bit of yellowing to it, and I like it. I did make a pro and cons list, and the cons are a little extensive, so don't get too scared. But, okay. For the pros, I have that you get a new smile. Visually, it just looks so much better. Also for me, I feel like it helped improve my dental health. I hadn't gone to the dentist in over 10 years, and now I actually look forward to going to the dentist. I'm flossing twice a day now, which I used to like not even floss to be honest. At minimum, it'd be like once a day. I feel so much more confident now taking photos and filming. If you struggle with insecurity with your teeth, you know this smile very well. Well, not anymore. Anytime I take photos now, I just want to show them off. Let's talk of the pain because it does not exist during the procedure. They make sure to numb you up. So I got a total of four shots. So I felt nothing. You do feel a little bit of pressure and you can hear the tools. That's pretty much it. The pain is the two days afterwards, but you don't feel the pain in your teeth or your jaw. It's mainly the lips because they get really dehydrated and dry. And you know, you're constantly having to have your mouth open. And something about those temporary veneers really irritated the inside of my lips. It just did not like them. So it did take about like two to three days for any of like the cuts, boils to go away until I felt like normal, normal. So recovery, piece of cake. Let's talk cons now. The first one at the very tippy top is that it's expensive. So I don't have dental insurance, so I did have to pay for this out of pocket, but my dentist offers his membership and he also had, I think it was called like a new smile discount for veneer specifically to do the top and the bottom. So I paid $8,888. 
That is not cheap. The second con is that it takes multiple dentist visits. It's not just going one single time, a one and done type of thing. The first is it would be a consultation to see if you're a good candidate for veneers. The second one is getting your temporary veneers. The third is getting your final veneers. Anything after that would probably be like an emergency visit or checkup. I was totally okay with that just because I work from home and my dentist is literally a five minute walk away. So I can go in and out anytime I need to. But if you work a corporate job where you're expected to be there from nine to five, or if you work a job where you need to find someone to cover your shift, it can get a little tricky. I'm gonna go through these other cons pretty quickly, but there are some things that come up like leakage and discoloration. I'm not gonna lie y'all, I still have my temporary veneers in on the bottom. I had to have them on for another two weeks. So I'll probably post updates on my Instagram if you wanna keep up, I'm Twinnell underscore. And also they've gotta shave your teeth. Even if your teeth are super straight, they still gotta do a little bit of shaving so that way the veneer can actually click on. And if you do have crooked teeth, they're gonna need to do even more shaving and it's permanent. You can't undo it. Once you shave them, they're shaved. And so that could also lead to you just not liking the final result. So it's really important to do research on your dentist. Look at their before and after photos of veneers and see what they're capable of. One of the things that also sucked for me was just eating soft foods. I am a girl who loves crispy fried chicken and not having that for like, what, over a month now? has been killer. The last thing I have on my cons list is potentially having an identity crisis. So having your natural teeth for your entire life and then getting a new smile kind of does something to your brain. And every time I looked in the mirror, I was just like, who is this girl? Especially with my hair too. I was just like, I definitely don't recognize her. I have very poor mental health. So I'm surprised I didn't spiral into a depression, but I think mainly I did it because I actually like my final result. I love my teeth. So in the end, for me, it was so worth it. If you have any other questions regarding my veneers or this entire process, drop them down below. I think I'll do like an updated video once I have my final bottoms. I do really feel like this is something that I needed for myself. I feel so much happier. I feel confident now. And this will be my first and last cosmetic surgery procedure because it is a little too expensive. But let me show you a before and an after just so that you can really see the difference. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you like my new smile? Do you think it's a little too fake? Would you ever get veneers? Let me know down below. Also, a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. So don't forget, there's a free trial waiting for you at squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash Chanel to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using my code twiddle as always y'all i do post videos at least in this week i'll see you all next one bye